Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how to edit product page on Shopify. There are three ways to do this. The first option is you can edit individual product pages or the second option is you can edit overall the product page template and the third option is you can use apps. For example, you could use an app to add reviews as you can see right here onto your product page and you can also use an app to add this section, the estimated delivery date on your product page and also to add customer reviews to your product page. I'll be showing you how to do all three. The first thing you need to do is go into your Shopify admin page. Once on your Shopify admin page, you are going to select products from the left hand menu option. After selecting products, let's say for example, I would like to edit this particular product page. All you have to do is tap on the product page that you would like to edit. Once you have selected the product page, you'll be redirected to here. And from here, if you would like to make any changes to the title or so on, you can make the changes as you see fit and you can also edit the description if you want let's say for example I wanted to add a video to the description all I have to do is tap on insert video then from here I could add a YouTube video for example all I have to do is go into YouTube then you're going to tap on the share icon after tapping on the share icon you will select embed after selecting embed you're going to tap on copy and once you have copied it you're going to go back into shopify once in shopify you're going to simply paste it right here then you're going to tap on insert video and as you can see right there the youtube video has now been added and you can add numerous things to your Shopify description as you can see right here. And you can also bold and italic and you can also change the font style and color on your Shopify page. And you can also add emojis and so on. But scrolling down you can also see the media as you can see the different images that comes with your product. And let's say for example you would like to delete one of these images. It's quite easy to do. All you have to do is tap on the box inside the image that you would like to remove. After you have selected it, you'll see the option delete file and you can simply tap on that and it will remove that particular image as you can see right there. Another thing that I will also show you how to do in case you have a product just like this with numerous images and you want to rearrange the images, you can do that quite easily. All you have to do right where you see the six dots on the image, all you have to do is tap on that and drag it into position as you can see right here. So let's say instead of this being the main image, I want this one with the black handle to be the main image. All I have to do is tap on the six dots, then drag it into position as you can see right there. And it is now the main image. And also by scrolling down, you will see the different variants. And you can edit the variance by tapping on edit in line with variant. So if you would like to delete a particular variant, all you have to do is tap on the trash can right there to delete it. And also if you would like to add other stuff to your product page, you can by tapping on add other option. So let's say for example, you want to add size, you can do that. If you want to add color, you can do that material or style, you can also do that. And all you have to do is simply scroll down now. And if you would like to change the price on your product page, you can do that right here. And you can also change the amount that is available. So this is how to edit an individual product page. Once you are finished with your changes, all you have to do is tap on save. Now I'll be showing you how to edit your product page template. All you have to do is go over to the left hand menu option and from there you are going to select online store. After selecting online store, you will automatically be redirected to the themes page and you are going to tap on customize. Once you have selected customize and you are on the editor page, what I want you to do next at the top of the page where you see search online store, you are going to tap right there. 
then you are going to select products and you are going to tap on default after going onto default product page keep in mind that any change that you make right here will affect all of the product pages on your Shopify store so let me change this product page by tapping on change and select another product page for example this one right here after selecting the product page let's say I want to change the template section right here let's say I want to hide the buy now button as you can see right here all you have to do is tap on the eye icon right there and it will hide the buy now button let's say I want to hide the inventory status all you have to do again is simply tap on the eye icon right there and it will hide it also if you would like to add another block all you have to do is tap on add block let's say you want to add a text block all you have to do is tap on text or you can scroll down and let's say you want to add you want to add complementary products all you have to do is tap on this and then you'll be able to show complementary products and you can see different apps that are popping up right here these are apps that I have installed as I told you earlier I'm able to add the estimated delivery date and also these apps are the review apps and so on so if you would like to add the star ratings on your product page or if you would like to add customer review add review and also star ratings all you have to do is download the trusto app as you can see right here and another thing that you can also do if you would like to add sections below your related products you can tap on the plus right there and if you would like to add featured products and image with a text box you can also do that if you'd like to add a slideshow to your product page you can do that and also if you would like to add another video to your product page all you have to do is scroll down and you will see the video option you can add it or you can add a sign up form or a contact form if you want there are numerous options and things that you can add as you can see right here and to also rearrange let's say for example you want to move the buy now button so you want it to be above quantity selector all you have to do is tap right where you see the six dots then you'll simply drag it up and you can see right there the buy now button is now at the top as you can see right there so if I were to hover over it you can see that the buy now button has moved as you can see there and once you have made your changes you are going to tap on save in the top right hand corner and that's it hope you found this video helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe